can play. Um, did well in practice today and um, <clears throat> did some things yesterday. So um, feel good about um, Sam playing. Coach, you'd mentioned Grant Watanabe in terms of the linebacker depth. Is that yeah, kind of an playing. emergency? He will play for sure. Okay, yeah, he'll play for sure. What, what does he add to the mix for you? Um, you know, he you know he had, he had that foot injury. He came back off of that and kind of hurt his shoulder a little bit in fall camp. So he was a little bit behind. Now he's completely healthy and um, been able to get a lot of reps the last couple weeks. Um, and you know, then Severson went down. So he's being prepared and ready to go. So I, I look forward to, to watching him play. I think he'll do well. He's very physical. Um, has really good instincts, and you know, um, so I'm glad he's healthy now. Who gets that starting nod? Is it going to be NJ? Uh, we don't know yet. Okay. It's between NJ and Grant, mm -hmm. uh, going back and forth in practice. But they'll both play in the game. So no Gillen? No. So speaking of linebackers, the guy that I guess get asked about all the time from fans is Deshaun Rippey. Uh huh. Why has he not even dressed for a game this year? Um, he, you know, he hadn't done as good as the other guys. He just hasn't done as good as the other guys. What does he have to do to, to get to a to, now that you, especially now that you guys don't uh -huh. have depth there, what does he have to do to right. get himself on the field? Um, you know, practice better than the other guys, you know, and just do the right things all the time. So, um, and hopefully he can. Rick Gamboa, only a redshirt freshman, kind of has to be a leader out there now on the defense. Yeah. So how has he done with that? Uh, Rick's played well. Um, you know, he's made a lot of plays in the games, and you know, he's had some mistakes. But um, overall, as a, a as a redshirt freshman, first year playing, um, he really, really is um, diagnosed well on the field. Very, very bright, um, and uh, has, has has done some really good things for us. Yeah, I've been pleased with how Rick's done. The way Arizona runs their offense with Solomon doing so many reads and things is that ultra important for your linebackers to, to know what they're supposed to be doing in there. Yeah, you got to read your keys, and you know, um, a new the thing he does is he just keeps the play alive. And so you have to cover, you have to stay on your guy. If you're a linebacker, you got to stay in your right gap. If you're a defensive end, you got to stay in your right gap. And so he kind of creates plays, and then we got to be able to run him down sometimes. Is that um, the thing you have to stress to your younger, especially the younger linebackers? Don't don't give up on your guy too soon. Yeah, exactly. Don't give up on the play too soon because he really can keep the play alive for a long time, and that's where they make some big plays when he does that. You mentioned Sam is back. Are you, are you guys have you decided whether you're going to go back to uh, him starting left and stuff on the right, or you've not decided that? Um, we're working on that in practice. We're switching them around because we're doing all the different contingency plans with what's happened so far. Um, but uh, you know, Stefan's looked good at left tackle too. You mentioned after the game that you want to take a, a longer look at Shane after seeing him play the other night at tackle. What did you think about Callahan over at yeah, tackle? Yeah, and Shane's playing guard and tackle and, and doing a good job there. And um, I would in the game he'll be end up playing both of them throughout the game. All right.